Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for Knockout TV. Welcome to this week's episode of Knockout TV. I welcome back Mickey Ward, our one of our favorite, one of our favorites <laughs> of all time. Great guy. Always happy to come on Knockout TV, which I appreciate. And your career was fan friendly. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. you got hit a lot. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. You know, I mean, yeah. most definitely. Yeah. But the, you know, I want to talk about that. You know, you have donated your brain to science. Right. I, uh, and CTE and the uh, BU, Dr. Robert Cantu, Chris Lewinsky, out of Boston University, uh, um, amongst like. Uh, other uh, athletes, not just boxers, football players, hockey players, um, donating that brain when I pass and part of my spinal cord so they can study the effects of concussions or whatever it may be. Uh, so when I pass away, I'll donate my brain. Did somebody come up to you and, and ask you to do that, or was that something really, that you kind of thought about? It was back in 2003 or four, I think it was, and uh, I think it was Chris Nowinski, the one that started in Boston, um, he had asked me, and... Um, I said, yeah, def most definitely, if I can help, not just boxers, if I can help anybody, like, in uh, contact sports or any sports at all, I said, I'm all for it, so that's basically why no, I No, it's a it. great thing. Right. I mean, I, I've had numerous concussions, mm -hmm. and the side effects are, are frightening for some people. Right. You know, I mean, disorientation, obviously, yeah. is one, right. but depression is a big one, right. and you see a lot of people... You know, sad to say, the who suffer from concussions right. are committing suicide. True, you true. know, and, I, and um, you know, you know, I take medicine for it and stuff. You know what I mean? I take it once a day, so I'm pretty good. I'm actually everybody's symptoms, are, I believe, are different. No one has like the same exact ones. People have the same ones, but whatever. But people get tired, people get angry, people take drugs, people who drink, or drink a lot. People get depressed, like you said, and go to drugs, drink, and stuff. I'm really not, I'm a very upbeat person, and plus I stay in shape, I work, you know, I, I try not to, like, let things bother me, I don't, you know what I mean, I try to live a good life, you know, and that helps with, with the conclusion. Yeah, I mean, you're not laying in bed. No, right, I'm not, you know, I'm, sitting not, I'm, not I'm not in bed, I'm not, you know, I work every day, I'm, I'm at work construction, you know, I do asphalt, concrete, curb, like, curb, Oh, is it really? Yeah, yeah, so, I'm busy, you know what I mean, and I, uh, I like it that way, though. Well, that's healthy, well, like you gotta wake busy. up. Right. With a purpose to do something. No, right. You exactly. know, and otherwise you're going to be, you know, stagnant. Right. If, if you just stay stagnant and you, like, you know, thing, things get to you, you stay, like, when you're not using your body and your mind, I believe, all the time, you're kind of, like, you get depressed. And if you're not, if you're indoors a lot, you get depressed. You know, you got to be outside. You got to got to enjoy your life. Even though you have it, you got to just stay positive mentally and it's very hard for and it's hard for fighters to walk away from boxing because they love a lot of fighters love that limelight of they'd course. be on top i never give a shit yeah. about that yeah. i don't care about that i'd rather have i'd rather walk by and no one know me i'd rather be low-key yeah. i don't care about yeah. that that's well, who, not why I fought, but who you know recognizes I mean? you when you go out in public i don't know I, 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 I blend I with don't everybody see it. <laughs> No, I, I mean, I, come on. I, I'm not big. I'm not. No, but whatever. I, I don't. Bl I blend right in with everybody. No. Nah, well, dude, you had a great career. Outside you, of fighting people that n would notice me, but outside of so walking down the street or whatever, no, no one noticed me. That's good. Yeah. I to like, an extent. I like. I like but like you that. come to something like this, you know, the paparazzi, whatever you want to call it. But the fight fans love you. It's nice to be in that. Almost. It, boxing is a fraternity. No, right. And it's a great it's fraternity. Great to be back around the fighters that are here, you know, and because the boxes, if you look at like different, like in, like the Hall of Fames, you go to like any other Hall of Fame, they 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 don't let the people get near the no exactly players, exactly to that. The boxes are the most, and I'm it's not against other sports. No, of course. Me, I'm not saying that. no. I know. What I'm saying is boxes are the most honestly friendly, fan friendly people there is. I mean, I, and there are great. There's a lot of football, baseball. Hockey, there's a lot of great guys. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying boxes seem to like gel more with with their fans, you know. Yeah, it, it's and it's, because we, we blend in with them and, and we're not kept away from them like in those big other Hall of Fames, they're all kept away from people. No, it's it's right. You know? It's and like I said, it's like a family. Mm, it you really know, is. It, it really here. is a family. Coming you know, here, seeing Junior Jones, I mean Barkley, um, Roberto Duran. Brad Hopkins, it's like seeing a brother you haven't no, seen. No, exactly. And you it's know like, the best part hey, was, you, know? you guys all stepped in the ring. You know, I mean, Hop, yeah. you know, uh, Barkley and Durant had a brawl. 
Yeah. Now they're hugging each other. Like, I yeah. love that, you know? You could do all the trash talking beforehand or whatever your deal is. Right. And then after the fight, respect. Exactly. And it's yeah. huge. And right? I love you, it. You leave it in the ring. You're still human beings. You leave it in the ring and you become a normal person. You don't take that, hold that grudge. And that's great. And you see it. You see it firsthand here. You yeah. Know? Oh. Seeing Roberto Durant and Ivan Barkley hugging each other when they try to take each other's head off. Exactly. You know it's, I mean? No, it's great. It's, you don't it's, see that. No, it's you know? wonderful. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Yep. And here, here, comes the, here comes the Lowell, Massachusetts contingent rising to the occasion for their fighter. Yeah. And here yeah. Freddie with some of that. I'll give it yes. to him in the body medicine. Now the fighters turn out to be what we expected. Hashtag. Ward's cut opening again. to the body. Gaddy with uppercut. Right hand. Oh, this is good stuff. We've lost our round clock. About a minute and a half to go in the round now. Blood begins to flow from above Ward's right eye again. Let's look at the distance oh. between the two fighters. This is oh. becoming Mickey Ward's fight. This bout is scheduled for 10. Well, I'll tell you what, the fans are going to get 12 rounds of action out of 10 rounds tonight. No, they're going to get 15 uh, more. rounds. Back. And the two of them, Getty's right eye is bleeding. Yeah. The blood begins. Oh. And he's loaded up every punch. A tremendous rally by Mickey Ward. Getty throwing a few change ups and then the high hard one. Again, left right combination landed flush. Ward bleeding heavily. And Getty was hurt by a left and a right. Yes. And this. With as a strong a fighter as Ward before. That body shot again. That's the body shot. It's the left hook to the body. Ward's money punch. Ward is going to go right back down there again. Right to the body again. He's still hurting from the body punch also still. In addition to the head. Arturo Gatti refusing to go down. Mickey Ward pounds away. Gaddy risking another low blow penalty to try to get Ward off of him and lands another big shot. That, that's where he's a go to the body. You know, you dream of fights, I guess, but they very seldom do they live up to the expectation. This is even more than you can dream of. Imagine if you bought a ticket. Stop it, Frank. You can stop it any time. Arturo Gaddy's out on his feet. Frank Capitino's going to let him keep going. I think Gaddy's having trouble seeing out of both eyes now, Emmanuel. Yes. But he doesn't have trouble firing away. This is the way it has to end. to the winner by majority decision Irish Mickey War Whoa, what a good right to the body by God at that time. Who has been at the helm of Ward's boxing career pretty much throughout. There's a great right hand by Getty and Mickey Ward goes down. You don't see that very often and Ward still wobbly picking Ward off with a solid right hand shot. Let's see if Arturo can finish. Defend himself. He's not throwing any punches. Ward has turned 37 since that last fight. Age has got nothing to do here, Larry. Forget it. Don't even go there. What a right hand by Mickey Ward. Momentarily stops getting his tracks. Now he lands the left hook to the liver. Gaddy's frozen. Ward nails Gaddy again upstairs with a counter right. Arturo blinking away the blood in his left eye. Great uppercut left hook combo by Gaddy. 
Here comes Ward again. Won't take no for an answer. This guy has not complained. Great uppercut by Getty. Ward is stunned once again. Shakes his head and comes right back. Big swelling under the left eye of Ward now from those counter right hands by Getty. And another one lands flush there. Big left hook. His family does not want him to be hurt tonight. This is a brilliant round by Arturo Gatti. His most effective of the fight. He dominates from start to finish and rips Ward with a right hand that sends him stumbling back to the corner. Hasn't been able to land his money punch now. The left hook to the liver for four or five rounds. Good short right hand inside by Gatti. Uh, Ward catches him with two right hands. A counter right and then a big right cross that followed. We'll see what happens in the last minute and a half of the round. That's what he's better do. Make it clear. Make it clear. Crowd on its feet. In proper tribute. To the two most compelling boxing performers of the year. Two guys who have given crowds both in New England and here in Atlantic City nights at the ring that they'll never ever forget looks like we go to a third bout ladies and gentlemen the winner is arturo Hunde Gatti. it's all Gatti through the first three rounds yep but arturo Gatti took a shot and is now in trouble and getting pummeled by mickey ward it was a body punch a body punch started this. Ward's back in it now. Back in it in a big way. Five straight left hooks by Mickey Ward. Daddy's showing great courage as he tries to get Ward off of him with one hand. Five straight left hooks. Seven left hooks, he mixed in one right hand. Here comes Ward, crowd on its feet. Mickey Ward lands a solid straight right. Gatti with a huge left hook. Down goes Arturo on a wide swinging right hand. So far in this series, the fighter who has knocked the other one down has won each fight. They're standing and trading shots at the center of the ring. This is very good for Ward. Harold, how do you have it so far? Dan, this is close again. 57-56, four rounds to two. Arturo Thunder Gatti. Jim, I gotta tell you, the extra point in round six just made this fight winnable for Mickey Ward. And God damn it, you gotta give him an extra point because he's a clean knockdown. And he hurt Gatti with the right hand. Hurt him badly. And here comes Arturo trying to fight his way off the ropes. It's turning out to be Ward's right hand against Gaddy's left hand. There it is again. Both fighters bleeding from the left side. The Atlantic Ocean outside these doors is turning into the Red Sea. Look at Arturo firing that broken right hand. Ward waits for him to finish and then stages his own assault. Oh Mickey Ward left hook, by left, left, hook. Hook. left hook. Can Gaddy follow up? The most overused word in sports commentary is incredible. This is another incredible fight. To start one last rally. Oh. And a hard right hand by Ward. Mickey Ward's gonna oh. unload the kitchen. And they rise again in Boardwalk Hall. Oh my God. They're done.
All for the winner by unanimous decision, Arturo Pandercotti. At the end of Arturo Gotti's career, there's a perfect example is you were walking him to the ring. I walked him to the ring, and then his last fight of his life against Alfonso Gomez, yes, I, I was trained there. him. Did you? I trained him. Oh, I, that's I, great. I was, you know, I trained him. I was down in camp with him for like two and a half months down in Miami, Florida, training, and uh, it was great. We became very close friends, very good friends, and uh, we'd call each other up here and there that's all great. the time, and we became the best of friends. And that's that's just out of respect. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, you, know, you guys... You tried to kill each other. You did. Right you here, tried but, to kill each other. You and know, but, it's scary, but... But it, after that, we're yeah. the best, best of friends. Well, he's only trying to do what I'm trying to do and vice versa. Exactly. And you got to respect Exactly. Him. You know, you're in side-by-side -side hospital beds. Yeah, exactly, You know, after, yeah. you know, just... And you know what's funny? How, how you just said that. The first time we be I, I had like a close bond to him was because in that hospital bed, if you see when I slid the curtain open and he was over there and I'm in there, and the first thing he said to me, he said, Mick, you okay? No. Oh. Meaning like he, he was he cared about me, how I was. See that? Instead of saying, hey, I good fight. Whatever, yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? And that's it. Nah, you're a bum, I could yeah, yeah, whatever. He said, yeah. he goes, Mick, you okay? I goes, yeah. I goes, thank you. And then he was I, joking because I told him someone took my shoes. I, I lost my fucking sneakers or whatever it was, and I, I told him he stole them. I go, besides, you know, I'm a ten and a half. He goes, no, I'm only an eight and a half. I go, oh, it wasn't you then. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's great. But um, it's a pleasure having you on, Mick. Thank you. And it's always it. nice to see you. And every time I see you, you're, you're a gentleman, and it's great because Thank you. It's, it's you know it's kind of like All right. you know we're we're Friends. a family. We yeah, are friends. We have we, we are have friends. Family. Unless when I call you and you're like, who's this? Who's this? Who are you again? Who? What? <laughs> what? That two-bit show? What is that? Knock on TV? What? That two-bit? Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> All right, brother. No, it's great it's, to see you. It is always good to Thank see you. you. I wish you the best in health. And um, I want to see what they find I in that you brain of yours, I think you've man. you got concussions, too. You have I do have concussions. I am forgetting <laughs> stuff. I told you I have concussions. <laughs> but I'm donating my hair to science, not my... Oh, uh, no, don't do that. Yeah, not my brain. Yeah. That'll be great. Mick, uh, pleasure it. having you on Knockout TV. Hey, I love you. You're the best. Everybody. Thank Thank you. you.